today's video I'm in the studio and I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the CX-5M with a modern day sequencer. I've got the CX-5M which is just plugged into my audio interface. As you look at the screen you can see that there are four voices. The first voice that we're going to use is going to be a bass sound which sounds a bit like this. Then we've got this sort of string effect. And then for a bit of percussion, I've got the snare drum sound, which is very... And then there's sort of this piano-y clavinet sort of sound as well. If we look, the next thing we see on the page is the mixer for the four different sound levels. And then we've got various modes for um, playing each, uh, each sound. I think we've got, we could change octaves and we've got um, the split mode, which I showed in the last video for two sounds at once. I've not needed to really touch any of this because I'm actually playing all of this off another keyboard using the MIDI input rather than the preparatory keyboard that comes with the CX-5. So we don't need to worry too much about that. And I'm not using any of the effects and I'm not using any of the um, inbuilt programming, which you can do. Now here you can assign different polyphony to each sound and in essence what you have is you've got eight notes polyphony on this device but you can split that between four sounds. I've left it in its generic two notes per track but obviously if I was going to play chords on say the strings then I'd have to lose a note somewhere else which would probably be the bass sound. If you want to change a the sound then all you've got to do is you go up and down with the keys and you can go left or right to change any of the parameters. And the same goes for the uh, volume levels or anything else on the device. As you can see, there's just four tracks of MIDI on my cakewalk, and that's going via a MIDI cable straight into the CX-5. So the song's now playing, and as you can see, I can adjust the levels of each sound. So that's the bass sound. That's the string sound. This is the snare. And that's the clavinet sound. Looking at the CX-5M, it's a very, very simple piece of equipment to program and use as a synthesizer. And certainly I find the interface using the computer much easier to navigate than if I was using a traditional FM synthesizer of the day. I hope you like this little overview. I'm going to end the video with the song playing, and if you like what I do, then please like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon so that you can keep up to date with any more videos that I do in the future.